Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial. Now I know you probably all can't believe that we're not starting on the normal logo page, but for some reason I decided to break that trend. Will we go back? Not even the Nectar knows. But what he does know is that this tutorial is about the new and awesome off-canvas menu option. Formerly known as the slide out widget area, it has since been renamed because it is now no longer only capable of coming out from the right hand side. Setting it up is actually really simple, and we're going to just jump right into it. Here we're currently sitting on a fresh WordPress install with the latest dummy data imported from the agency demo. And we're going to head on over into the admin side of things. From here we're going to head over to the salient options panel header tab. Now if you're a legacy user, you're probably familiar with the old slide out widget area option, which was located as a simple toggle option inside of here. So prior to salient 6.0, the slide out widget area was simply a widget area as the name implied. All the content that was populated inside of it needed to be added through the appearance widget section of your admin panel. As you can see, there's a couple options over here just to make your life easier. As far as adding social media icons and some custom text you might want fixed on the bottom. But one of the bigger changes is perhaps that when you activate the off canvas menu, you actually are also creating a menu location, which you can assign a navigation to. This way you don't have to manually create all of your links through widgets. And you'll also automatically inherit some nifty animations by using the menu location. Just to go over how easy it is to switch between the styles, as you can see, it's just a drop down. I'm going to leave this one on for now, and we're actually going to head over to the Appearance menu section. Once here, we simply need to go over to the Locations tab and assign our desired menu to the off canvas navigation. Save changes. Now heading on over to the front, we can see that the off-canvas navigation has indeed been added. Another new awesome thing about using the actual menu location rather than the old widget area method is that there is support for sublevels and nested sublevels of the menu itself. So here you can see under these items that were imported with the dummy data, where drop-downs would normally display, if you click on it, you'll actually enter into the child menu items. And you can nest these as deeply as you would like. As you can see, there's really not enough space for these menu items with the imported typography. So if we were going to keep this setup, we would obviously want to go into the options panel and reduce the font size for the off-canvas navigation items. So going back, we're going to close this out and head back over into the admin panel to discuss another new aspect of this. I'm sure you guys have noticed just from this example and also the demo that the possibility to add small text underneath each menu item is a little description now exists when using the off canvas navigation. Adding that is simple too. We're going to go back over into the appearance menu section and in any menu item you have the option to add the description text. All you need to do is click on the arrow to open your menu item up then go up to the screen options section of your page click that and make sure that you have the description checkbox marked off. Once you do that you can see that a new field opens up where you can add your text. Now just to cover the rest of the functionality in regards to this item, we're going to head back on over one more time to the header tab of our options panel. Scrolling down to the relevant section, I just want to take a moment to talk about this item. Now there's been some cases where people have used the off canvas menu in conjunction with also having regular menu items appear in their header. I actually have this set as well on a couple of the demos just to show that the option does exist for both. But the problem is when you view a site that are using those options on mobile, you'll actually see two different menu icons, which can be confusing. I added this option in to clear that up. So if you would like to use an off-canvas menu to display various widgets, but would also like to have regular nav in your header, I would recommend using this option, as it will simply consolidate the two when viewing on mobile. Now to wrap up this video, I'm just going to change this menu style over into the full screen cover. All the menu items are now centered in the screen, which allows our large font size to actually look a bit more aesthetically correct. And it spreads out the option for social icons and the text on the bottom corners. All right, guys, I think that's just about it for the new off canvas menu functionality. I really do hope you're enjoying 6.0 so far, and there's going to be many more tutorials on the way. I'll see you then.